mental willpower is so important for whatever you're doing in life. Mental willpower says a lot about yourself. It's something that you can't view, but you can only do. My name is David Cullen. I am currently attending RIT for my Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Industrial Design. This is my last semester here and it's been one wild ride. It's actually a funny story why I chose Industrial Design. I was kind of getting into sneakers junior year of high school and I found out about a pair called the uh, Airfoam Posit 1, which was designed by an Industrial Design alumni, Eric Avar. I took a trip up to RID and the rest is history. I look up to a lot of current industrial designers who are still active. One I'd have to say is definitely John Geiger, who I recently did a project with last semester. He asked me to 3D print a pair of his shoes. And getting to know who John was and his whole vision for creativity was really inspirational and helped me find myself again. Another industrial designer that really kind of inspires me is Eric Avar. He's the reason I chose the path I did. In fact, the reason why he chose industrial design was similar how I found out about it. I'd say my third most inspirational uh, industrial designer is definitely Josh Owen, who's the program chair of RIT's uh, industrial design program. I think his work speaks so much without saying a lot at all. Josh is just a wonderful person to get to know and I think a lot of industrial designers should look to carry themselves the way that he has. I definitely say that sneakers are one of my hobbies and one of my personal interests. The Air Foam Posit 1 is my top favorite shoe of all time. It's the one that got me doing what I'm doing. And then I'd have to say the New York Jordan 1s are my absolute they're my absolute favorite one of all time. They got me to fall in love with Jordan brand. When I saw them, I saw how a shoe that Jordan never played in color wise just captured what New York City was. And of course, I think I would say that my third favorite is definitely John Geiger's uh, 001, just for how he paved the way for his own vision. And he didn't listen to anyone saying, you know, this may not be for you. He listened to himself, and I think the whole story and process behind that sneaker inspires others to say, I want to follow my own vision. I don't want to follow someone else's. This is who I am. This is how I want to present myself to the world. I'm me, and I have worth. And those who value my worth will appreciate it. I shouldn't seek out worth from others.